Nice that you clicked on my YouTube. I want to show you some Iron Shirt Qigong postures. Iron Shirt has only six postures and they're all static. And it takes time to integrate this practice into the body. So basically it's that you connect heaven and earth within yourself. So the structure in doing so is the most important. So we have a certain structure in Iron Shirt and then we, with this structure we will have, we will do all the other uh, postures. So the first one is called Embracing the Tree. So for this we stand about shoulder width apart, feet are parallel and now we, we sit to the back like we as we want to sit on a chair, but we don't sit yet. And we screw the legs into the ground. So it means it all, we open our knees so that the legs are firm, connected with the ground, and the feet are firm on the floor, and the spinal cord is upright. And now we press the chin slightly in to elongate the spinal cord. And then we round the shoulder blades, twist the wrist, and we have a slight tension between the thumb and the pinky finger. And we stand in the embracing the tree position. Now we are perfectly aligned between heaven and earth. And all we need to stand in the structure. And now we can do some bellow breathing and we exhale down to the center of the earth and then we inhale up to every, into every energy center all the way up to the crown. So this is one of the basic exercises of the embracing the tree. Let's do the bellow breathing together. Now exhale down, down, down to the center of the earth. Inhale a small seat to, your, to the sole of your feet. Pull your perineum up, up to your knees, up to your perineum. Now up to your navel, coccyx. Now inhale up to the T11. And now you can hold at the T11 and you exhale. Now inhale up from the T11 to the C7 to the base of the skull. Now roll your eyes up and inhale up to the crown. And you spiral horizontally on your, in your ground, crown. And then to the other side, connect with the north star a bit deeper. And exhale. And then regulate your breath and move from the heel to the toe. And then from there you can also go into the fall but, fall but not fall. So when you are in the structure, you can sink to the back, sink to the back, and just before you fall, you come forward. And before you let yourself fall, 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 and you come up like this. Try it out, it's fun. Sink back, 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 and come back. And then <coughs> lower your hands down, connect. And lower your elbows down and connect the chi. And then condense the chi. And shake out.
The next movement, we call it the turtle. And the turtle is <coughs> strengthens the back, strengthens the muscles on the side of the spinal cord. It's a very powerful practice. So for this one, I, I show you from the side. We stand further than shoulder width apart and make loose fist in front of the face. The back, the back upright, chin in, and all you do is you bend down and bend forward. And now again you breathe into your kidneys and breathe into your lower back. Expand and release and move your body and feel your body light. Like the more you the longer you stand, you feel like energy passing through your body from the earth all the way up. Feel the pull like an invisible force pulling you up. And feel your body light. And then we come to the water buffalo. So we sink down and we exhale more than we inhale. And come up and roll up from the lumbar, lower, middle, upper, thoracic, and connect. Down and collect the cheek. 